Good morning. Today I want to show how I sometimes cut my uh, pork head apart if I don't want to use a big pot. Just use a small pot when I make sausage. This is a typical pork head, how we get it here in America. In Germany, when we butcher the pigs, we always cut the heads, the, the, the eyes out. First thing you do, first you should have a sharp knife. Just go around. And cut the eye out. Same on the other side. When my son was little and I had I did that, he took the eye and put it in his hand and held it in front of a girl. And then he said something like, Look, I'm looking at you. Now I turn the head around and since we still have a tongue in, you have to cut it around here. Ah, we take the tongue out later. So what we got to cut the jowls off here. There's very little left. I always cut them off. And the other side too. Most of the time there's more meat on here. But this is only part of the jowl. And now I take the skin off from the whole pig. I leave the ears on so I can give a knife. Maybe I want to say something. You should have the knife that fits the job. I see sometimes when they cut some meat at the, on, uh, on Facebook or so, they have a long life like that where you should have a boning knife. So just go along the bone and cut the skin off. And here you want to go close to the bone. because the nose will throw away later on, uncooked. Now you do the same from the other side. I got the other side almost done. So I put the camera back on. And just cut the meat off, the, the skin basically. That's the whole skin from the head. And now I take the tongue out. I think I want to put a cutting board underneath. In Germany we always cut the tongue out when we butcher the animal. But here they do it different. So you cut right and left. Cut around here, and you don't care if you cut a little bit in the tongue, it will be eaten anyhow, either way. There's always the front, a little more hard to get. And now, if you look. That's the tongue. And as you see here, part of the skin is already pulled off. The head don't want to lay good, so I use my jowls to put next to it. 
So now I cut right and left the cheeks off. Close as possible to the bone. And then you gotta go put it deep in here if you can. That's good already. Now I got both sides cut nicely down and like I said, lowest you can go or deepest you can go. One more time here and you turn that thing around and you pull on it. Now you can pick up the, pick the meat a little bit off that and you're done with that part. And then you can throw that away. Once I got this bone out, I take a hatchet and split this in half. In Europe you always split them in half and butcher them, but here a lot of times you don't do it. I don't think you have to know. Now I have them cut in half. Sometimes it goes better on the floor, but I didn't want to bend down. Now you see the brain in here. You can take that out. If you eat it, you can put it in water and water it out a little bit. If you're an outdoors man, you can use the brain for brain tanning. The old saying is, when you go deer hunting, a deer has enough brain to tan the height. That's where it comes from. Some people eat it, I don't. And now I turn it around and cut the nose off here. Oh, I forgot to say something. In Germany, Sometimes, if we wanted to, we had sometimes too much liver sausage, especially in the summertime. Then we took, picked all the meat off here. So you can go here and cut the, pick the lean meat off. Then you don't have so much for sausage, but you don't want. There's a little bit. And now you cut it off. This you throw away. So now all you have is the meat here. I cook it for liver sausage or to pick on it. Sometimes I use lay it in salt water overnight in a, a curing salt. Next day I cook it and eat the meat off. Same here. I have the jowls. You can take the skin off and do liver sausage or blood sausage or bratwurst or hot dogs. You can use that for fat in the hot dogs. And this of course got to be cooked. Liver sausage out. Oh. And uh, this liver sausage, blood sausage, head cheese. Or you cook it and pick on it. I love the meat when it's just cured from with curing salt. And cook it and then eat it. No other spices on. Now I want to show one more time what I ended up with. The skin from the head with the ears and everything. Normally what I do, I cut the schnutz off and this I eat like this. And this most of the time I put in blood sausage or so. But sometimes I eat it too, but then when I cook it in 9% uh, brine and I cook it overnight and cook it and eat it. But the meat got to be real 
cold, crispy yet, not soft cooked. Then we have the tongue, could be eating like this, or blood sausage, liver sausage, whatever you want to do. Brain, if you want it. There we have the leftover bones that get torn away. And if you look, the eyes are looking at you. And are this the head meat, so, uh, liver sausage, blood sausage, or anything like it, press cup, or head cheese, the jowls, liver sausage, blood sausage, or hot dogs, the fat for the hot dogs is very good. And also bratwurst, find the bratwurst. So that's all for today. I hope you do it sometimes, or you have to do it. Maybe you don't have to do it. Maybe I should show this quick. If I want to use this uh, liver sausage, blood sausage, of course you got it, uh, not liver sausage, blood sausage, hot dogs, or anything like that. You got to take your skin off. Just cut through it, and like you fillet it. Should have, when you make it in the uh, cooked sauces, like, like a hot dog or brat or anything like it, there can be no skin on. So you got to take all the skin off. I didn't do so good. Maybe I'll do better this time. That's the other side. Now you have used the skin, good for uh, any sausage you cook, like liver sausage, blood sausage, head cheese. Now this can you can use in hot dogs or whatever. We call in German we call that the brühwurst, the sausage, like any uh, cold cuts or anything that you smoke and then cook and eat the next uh, or sell it the next week. That's the brewwurst. Now I'm in the kitchen upstairs and I want to uh, brine my schnutz. I want to eat them tomorrow. So what I did, I took a 9% brine and curing salt. I have my salt pre-mixed. There's one, cure number one in already, the right amount. So I never have to worry about how much this, how much this. And I leave it in for until tomorrow, never more than one day. If you want to see anything about the uh, brine tester, there's a movie about it. This is now the end of my demonstration. I hope you uh, in, like it, you enjoy it. And uh, I hope sometimes you see, watch my other movies on YouTube. You find me on Eckerhart, the German butcher and then click on videos, then you see all my videos. You have a good day.